everybody so today i'm going to show you all how to pass the shops and drops scenario of planet coaster this was one of the hardest um scenarios for me because of the fact that i had to do it over and over and over and over again to kind of pass it um i really struggled with this one um so i'm just going to give you all some of my tips uh as far as like what i did to pass the scenario this is not going to be a long video. I'm just going to kind of go over the the highlights. You know, this is the opening of the game. Apologize. I don't, I don't really know how to do this. this is my first video that I've recorded. So I'm going to try to be as clear as I possibly can. Um, and just give you all some tips. Because I couldn't really find any, um, any videos on this on YouTube. I've been looking around and they weren't really specific. There was a couple of videos I found and they just did not really tell you what you needed to do so i'm hoping this one can help um some people out there uh so give me one second so i can open up this like right now the one and as you can see i pretty much have beat most of this game um let's open it up uh let's go it up I got it. That's the one that I got. I just named it. I got it right there. Um, this is a fun scenario, but it's difficult. You really have to um, just pay attention to profits and pricing. And I'm going to give you all some of my tips uh, for this and what I did. So uh, once it's loads, you'll see the park that I created. Um, it was really a, a park that... Uh, I kind of customized I deleted a lot, a lot of what was in the first um, or in the original scenario I deleted it you know just a template that they gave me and I kind of created my own because I just felt that that didn't really help me kind of get to where I needed to be um, and uh, that, that I think worked a little bit so uh, this is a park this is Shops and Jobs, the Futuristic Series Park, you know, the franchises, they come, pricing and tycoons. Um, so the first tip here that I did, I kind of like cheated here. I did call um, one of my coasters Frontier, so you don't have to really deal with, um, you know, closing and doing the whole um, thing where, you know, the rides break down and all that. But I want to show you, first of all, uh, that I did pass this um, scenario. This is my park here. And these are all the shops. So as you can see, I created um, like once I started making a profit, um, I did do two big roller coasters. This is High Seas, which is a, a pre built roller coaster, and then this is Venom on the right side. Um, and as you can see what I did here, I got rid of what they had here, which was the looper, um, ride. And I just pretty much started the park, you know, the, the first thing you see on the right side here is four shops. You have Looney Blooms, you have Chief Beef, you have Gold Peak Energy, and you have Cosmic Cow mil Milkshakes. I noticed that Cosmic Cow's milkshake, that one, it really, um, they really liked, and, and then they really love also um, Chief Beef. So let's take a look at some of my most profitable shops here in the park. And this is broken down. Let me just kind of fix this real quick so we don't get annoyed. I have to hire a, uh, I have to hire a mechanic so they can fix that ride not that it really matters because i'm just going to show you all um what i did yeah you see here like they really love chief beef yeah this is a and it's a big profitable um shop here so for chief beef i charge 13 dollars for the chief beef extra large and 10 dollars for the cheap burger and they really like it i also customize um cosmic cow i'm charging seven bucks per all the um for all the milkshakes and looney blooms i'm turning 12 dollars for all the i mean i'm sure you all can charge more but 
I just felt that that kind of turned people off. Um, I also have here, you see the first aid. I'm charging $2 for the first aid. In total, I had 813 people. So even though it's not really a big profit margin um, item here, it did help out a lot. Um, and toilet block, I also charge a buck for toilet block. And what I, you see what I do? What I did here, I opened up the park. So the park here, I immediately to the right just started building rides. And I started like, I, a big part of it was the exit of the rides. I wanted to come, go inside with a lot of the shops. So here you have 4D, which is broken down. Um, but you see that here, the, the, the ride, it, um, the exit, it ended up being, um, where the hell did I put the exit? Oh, it's right here. But it ended up being close to, um, to first aid six. So to first aid six, because there's a ride where a lot of the people will be getting sick. So you want to have them go into, um, the first aid re real soon. Um, and this uh are my the, the rest of my rides let's go over here and just give you all some of the profit margins that i had to to do i don't want to make this video too long but i just want to just show you all uh let's look at the shops so a big ride was uh hat stastic six so this area like right at right outside of venom I created a bunch of shops, so I created two roller coasters here, Venom and another wooden roller coaster. And this, so this was basically a huge area right here, as you can see, they get off the rides and you have a bunch of shops right here. You have Gopi Energy, you have Chief Beef, you have um, another Gopi Energy, so they're really um, into the, you know, into buying a lot of, a lot of things right here. I had also a uh, marketing campaign going on to really help out I, I didn't do this until i had um a lot of the shops already established and then just to kind of get me over the edge i i did a family hour and it, it doesn't really matter what what um advertising campaign you do but i did i did do one and let's see the finances you see here i actually did it last year so i mean not last year i did it last month I got over the six thousand dollars you know with two thousand people in the park um and it took me three years to to get to this point um my biggest thing again would be um open up a huge like i did basically like this is like uh, the main strip of the park and everything is centered around um around the shops so you really want to make sure that the exit is important it exits the people right to their the shops so that you know once they're standing in line um they're able to go and and shop and and spend some money in the park um this area here they didn't really develop too much i was going to but i was like this the way they do this here you really don't have too much space i was like let me abandon this side i did most of the uh thrill rides here in this long walk all the way down um, and then the main things that really did get me over the edge were the two roller coasters. So once you have enough money to, to build, um, something, a roller coaster here, you really want to make sure to, um, to build it right. You see the exit right there a lot. Some of them might even stop. Like let's, let's watch right here what they'll do. I don't know if these people will, yeah, you see them like they stopped at the, what was that? That was at the milkshake cause they were probably thirsty. So you want to make sure like they're in, in line so they get off and th that happens here too at the, in the other roller coasters that have that did. Um, the exit sign, like they'll exit right to, there's like the wolf right here, like which are all the shops. So they were in line, they're having fun and now they get to shop. They go to Gulpy Energy last month, it made, um, it made seven hundred dollars here because they're they're right outside, um, and then uh, this one it also helped out because again, the exit right here will be exiting towards the same uh, avenue. So again, let's take a look again real quick. This is gonna again this is a quick video, but um, my most profitable shops in this park were 
Hatstastic, Looney Blooms right here, Chief Beef, Gopi Energy. So you guys gotta really focus on Hatstastic. So again, I'm charging $14. Looney Blooms, I'm charging 12. They love the balloons, Chief Beef. Big profit margin here as well. Gopi Energy. Another thing I would say is really watch out for all these shops that you build and that they don't go to. So if you're getting close to the $6,000 mark, because that, that happened to me, I was close. I was like at $5,000 and $4,000. So what I did is you, you got to get rid of the, these ones that are bogging down your, your profits. So um, you need to really watch these that really don't. These don't have a huge big deal, but last month I had a couple of shops like that were losing $600. And I was like, okay, you can't have that uh, in order to make that, that profit margin. So the biggest thing that I would say is layout is important. So make sure you're laying out the park where the exit is right to the gift shops. Um, and then you give them enough space to really walk around to do things as far as, and also the, um, the marketing campaigns. So that's, those are my tips. Um, and again, another tip that I would give you all is uh, use that T Frontier. Need my roller coaster frontier, frontier like I just did, and that way you don't have to deal with um, the rides breaking down. So it's a pretty, pretty big tip for uh, for this. Um, and that's what I did to to to, to pass the scenario. Um, and I hope it helps. Uh, you know. And again, this scenario is not really about the rides, but you really need to build big rides, and have the rides, or you know. Um, have the rides, you know, just go into the gift shops and make the gift shops accessible to people. Um, and you want to charge for everything. Don't have anything for free. Even the ATM machines, I charged a dollar for them to have some kind of profits, you know, f from them. Because you don't want to lose any money. Like, losing money here will not make you pass this scenario and, um, and get to your $6,000 profit. So that's what I did. Hope it helps. I mean, uh, I, I, again, I couldn't find any videos. And uh, this is my first video that I've done for YouTube. So I hope this helps you all out there who are struggling to pass shops and drops in, uh, on, in Planet Coaster. All right. Thank you all.